is Gavin and I am nine years old. Gavin is incredibly gifted. He is a prodigy among prodigies. He likes Star Wars, he likes Legos. I mean, he's such a real kid, but his gift is so beautiful. There just aren't enough hours in the day for him to learn all the pieces that he wants to learn. Gradually slowing down. Gavin is going to go to Washington, D.C. to play a concert at Constitution Hall for the Daughters of the American Revolution, and he is playing some of the most difficult music written. Music since a young age has been a passion for Gavin. It's in his mind all the time, and it's, it's a part of who he is. Gavin is music. One Christmas, my mom got a music DVD, and I really fell in love with it. I was just like conducting and dancing and jumping on the couch. We just let him watch it for a while, and it was probably about a half a year later that we decided to start formal training at the piano. My uncle gave me his baby grand piano, which was very nice, so I could practice on this. Say hello. Hello. He was delighted with the piano and took rapidly to it. As soon as he started lessons, he was enthralled with it. When I was a little kid, you see a piano, you kind of just bang at it. Mm -hmm. He would just depress the keys lightly, it just matched up to, I think, his wiring in his ears. <laughs> I took Gavin as a student when he was five and he was playing quite well then, but his rate of progress is tremendous. He has just grown by leaps and bounds. Each month, it seems like he's progressed another year. Okay, good. Left hand alone for a minute. He's got just a wicked talent for music, but for me, he's just a little boy. He's very precocious, but he's just a boy at heart. I really like playing with my brother, Max. He just turned six. Actually, go ahead. We like fighting lightsabers a lot. They're yin and yang. Max is a type B, fun loving, go get them. And Gavin is a little more serious, and together they're just the best of friends. Woo! Wingardium Lavosia! The classroom where we do our school. Gavin is special in more ways than just his talent. Intellectually, he's so bright. Gavin began reading when he was about two and a half, and he just had a voracious appetite for learning. Gavin's mother has a master's degree in gifted child education, and she gave up her job so that she could be with Gavin. We hadn't planned on homeschooling, but when the time came, Gavin really was such a precocious learner from such an early age that we decided academically it would be best. T equals? Awesome. From a young age, he's been very sensitive, and he feels emotions, I think, deeper than a lot of people. And I, I just really think that playing music allows him to express them. One reason I love playing the piano is just because when I play it, it makes me happy, and then I know it makes other people happy. <laughs> practice once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once in the evening. For the Washington DC event, we are preparing a group of very technically difficult pieces. The Moskowski etude I like because it has a challenging left hand part and I love challenging, it's really fast. Gavin has an amazing memory. He can learn those notes overnight, just about. Once I've memorized the song, it's just in my head. I know the thing. I, I don't have to remember notes. One of our big challenges is deciding what opportunities to take for Gavin that will still help him develop, that will inspire him, but won't overburden him and allow him the time to still be a child. I get a little nervous before I play the piano for a big concert, but then once I 
start playing it, it's just me and the piano. And now, I am delighted to introduce tonight's entertainment. He traveled from his home in Ohio to be with us tonight after a whirlwind spring of performing around the country. Please welcome Gavin George. Well, what do you want to be when you grow up? And he would say, I want to be the world's best concert pianist. I suspect that he is going to be a major world talent. I really would dream to be a concert pianist. That would be a, a dream come true. Music is a special gift to give to people. 